Okay, so I just came from Dollar Tree. Tell me why I woke up in there. And Christmas is on and popping. What are you talking about? It's September. You make no sense, Dollar Tree. Where are you going? Each season gets three months. We are only one month in. You see this monstrosity? Why? This respectful. It's for my scarf though. Can anyone else relate? When you putting on your scarf and then you tie the knot in the front and then you left with this? Then you are left with this embarrassment? Don't be like me. Do not be like me. Who's my bun cracker? I don't know. Be professional. Hey Shadi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiana and whoever's watching this, I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're in a good mood. I'm in a good mood. As usual, I'm hype. My friends be laughing at me because I be saying hype. Consider this your shout out. I'm gonna always say hype because I be hype, okay? <laughs> I'm so excited because for today's video, this is going to be my first DIY projects video. My bathroom makeover was my first DIY makeover on my channel, but this one is going to be my first DIY projects. I got a little series for you guys. This is about to be my fall series. Oh, I'm tripping. I'm supposed to have my fall cup, not my bottle. My bottle gonna have to wait. Hold on, I'll be right back. Look at my cup. Right, I got this from Dollar Tree. So cute. It says gather or whatever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dang. This thing always gives me a hard time. Like, first of all. and popping mm -hmm. and if you thought you was about to skedaddle on over to dollar tree and go get you one the answer is no because they already have their disrespectful christmas ornaments and decorations out hanging on the wall like y'all already know how i feel about that you already know you saw the beginning of the video so in the spirit of fall this is what we're gonna be drinking out of for the next I think four videos. I have three DIY projects for you guys and I'm so excited to try them out and see how they work. I'm gonna be attempting to do a DIY reef, sweater pumpkins, and a DIY fall sign. I got inspired by all these ideas, all these projects that I'm gonna do from YouTube and Pinterest. I'm gonna go and let's get started. See what it, don't ask me why I just smelled that. This brush kind of stiff. Should I have wet this brush first? Okay, she loosening up. I'm gonna say, where are you going? This is voiceover tay tay. <laughs> So I just want to mention some things that I didn't mention anywhere throughout the video because I suck at life. But for starters, I got that canvas from Goodwill and it was less than a dollar and I had to repaint it white because it was used. And then after that dried, I took the two colors that I ended up using I got from Walmart and they are by Apple Barrel and they were 50 cents a piece. And I used classic caramel um, for the first paint and then the second paint I just did like dabs of barn red because I wanted it to look like full, you know what I mean? So yeah, and for um, one point in time it did look like peanut butter and jelly and I was really confused but God came through and it was one of them like <laughs> So uh, after that I went ahead and dried and these paints did dry 
fairly quickly in my opinion i went ahead and traced out where i wanted the f to be and where i wanted both the l's to be and it it was easy it was real easy and like if i made a mistake it was real easy to erase as well i'm sorry that my big bun is in the way but i don't know i was trying to get it to be perfect because i'm kind of a perfectionist but everything is fine nobody panic Okay, so now I'm outlining all my letters in another apple barrel paint and it's in the color pavement and it was low-key kind of salty because it was supposed to be black but it's like a uh, gray like it's a gray but it's like close to black but it's not black because it's supposed to be black even though it's gray but I don't know like it was 50 cents I'm not tripping I mean I was tripping and I didn't want to sue but we're not gonna talk about it but I just went ahead and painted uh, the outlines of the letters first so it would give me a guideline and it was actually low-key very relaxing like I was hyped like low-key I was real hyped I was real hyped because I haven't done any arts and crafts stuff like in a long time and it was really relaxing so I'm gonna go ahead and let you relax because I know you probably annoyed bye Okay, so right here is pretty much it. This is pretty much where I was going to stop and I was just going to put the leaf in the middle. When I looked at it, I was just like, this is the opposite of Warner Poppin'. Like, this is just so plain. Like, no, I, I have to be, do better. So I took an apple barrel paint in the color antique white and I outlined all of the letters. And then I took some leaves and some berries from Dollar Tree garland that I had left over. And I just placed them in the corners. And then, of course, I use, I prefer to use a... Uh, the corn cans instead of the green bean cans because I don't know like <laughs> no I'm just playing it don't, it don't matter obviously you just want to have something to weigh your stuff down and I used E6000 by the way to glue all that down and also I got that leaf from Dollar Tree the leaf that I used in the sign so the next project that we're going to be doing is the reef and I got the reef I actually got the reef from Walmart it was five dollars I believe and all of the flowers and the wheat that I used um, I got from Dollar Tree. Now, this was prior to me getting disrespected by walking into Dollar Tree and seeing all of their Christmas decorations up. So, I'm actually really sorry if you want to do some of these and then you can't find anything in your local Dollar Tree because that's actually pretty salty. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Like, I'm not even going to lie. But, um yeah so i'm just obviously just i just cut the stems uh short enough i didn't cut them all the way off but i just cut them at a certain length and i kind of just stuck them in there wherever i just felt like it would be cute and then um if the stem was still too long i kind of wrapped it and weaved it around uh the rest of the reef like branches the rest of the reef branches but yeah this is what we got so far it's a little dinky and I'm not crazy about it just yet, but it's coming together.
those on here but i do have more wheat so i think i'm gonna go ahead and use that project which i am excited about because your girl is ready to lay down like i'm not even ready to go to bed i'm just ready to lay down like i'm so so the last project that we have are the diy sweater pumpkins so these are the pumpkins that i'm going to be using i got these from dollar tree and i had to go to literally i'm not even joking i had to go to four dollar trees to get these pumpkins four not two not three not a cute little one quick pit stop no boo your girl was at four dollar trees looking extra crazy walking up and down the aisles looking for these dollar tree pumpkins like what this one dollar tree had a buttload so i ended up getting six and let me show you the type of fabrics that i got a mustard sweater and some of these after i washed it and then i really looked at them i was just like am i sure i want to cut this but i don't need any more clothes but look at how cute this is First of all, I just want to come on here real quick and tell you that I finally learned how to pause it. So yes, round of applause for me. Thank you very much. And second of all, by cute, if you don't think any of the sweaters or anything in here that I'm showing you are cute and on a popping, what I mean by cute is that it's like ugly fall cute. You know what I mean? Like with some leggings, some knee high boots, some thigh high boots. What are you talking about? Like sweater, leggings, knee high boots or thigh boots. Like on a popping, like it's time for fall people. Get ready. Like it's literally here. Like. That's what I meant though, just in case she was just like, girl, that's ugly. All right, much of business. All right, bye. And it smells so good. This one is cute. And it's just like, what are the odds that I got? Like, this is an extra large, 16, 18. Like, what are the odds? So I got this in like a forest green, I guess. I don't know. I got black pants. These are corduroys. And it was black, like, I love black. Again, so cute. I don't know if I can fit this one. No nope. Cream color. Pretty burnt orange, burnt brown type color. Really cute. This one I wasn't tripping out um, too bad about, even though this one is cute as well. But I literally have another sweater that is pretty much this color and is like really cute. They smell so good because they're washed. Do I really want to cut these? Is it worth it? Your girls have a second thought. No, no, no. I need to cut these because I don't need any more clothes. Or if I cut them, that'll give me an excuse to buy more clothes. I think I'm going to something. If you seem confused as to why I seem confused as to why all of these are randomly perfectly my size and my taste, it's because I went to Goodwill to get these, but I went to the part of Goodwill that they charge you by weight. So I didn't try any of these on. I was only concerned about the colors. So that's kind of why I just, I just grabbed them all randomly. So after I washed them and really looked at them, I was like, wait, man, these kind of cute. Like, what, what are we going to do about this? Because these can't fall victim to the scissors. But... I mean, we're not gonna talk about it, but everything, everything was fine and okay, I'm gonna go. Exhibit A. So I've seen people paint these first, like a white or like an off-white color so that the orange doesn't peek through too bad, but it's late and I'm tired. So I'm trying to be done. I'm going to get rid of the tag and I'm gonna get rid of this green thing. This green thing, gotta go. I can actually just pull that off. And then it's a little stem. Ooh, that's a toothpick. Uh-uh. Oh, look at that. See, no one talks about this. This is an actual toothpick. Ghetto. Uh-uh. Ooh. Can you see me? So I realized that I didn't even explain this like not even a little bit not even at all But basically what you're gonna do is cut a hole in the top cut a hole in the bottom not too big not too small And then I stuck to using the legs and the sleeves of fabrics So you're gonna slide your pumpkin through in the middle and then tuck it in at the top and then tuck it in at the bottom And then boom and then later on in the video I stuck a stick in there and it looked really cute though 
<laughs> the orange is peeking through, but I don't really mind it. It doesn't look, you know, like 1000%, but I don't really mind it. So I am going to do a few more. Basically, I'm an embarrassment to the DIY community because my pumpkin split in half. Like, I'm so embarrassing. So, um, either my hole was too small or basically really what I think it was is that I didn't cut off enough fabric. But either way, don't don't be like me. Like, cut off the extra fabric. Like, because... Uh, because... Okay. You, you get it, okay? Okay. subscribing to the channel let me know which DIY project was your favorite let me know if you were gonna try any of these I think my favorite hmm, I think my favorite one is gonna be the fall sign yeah the sweater pumpkins they tried me they they're cute but they tried my patience and I really don't appreciate that the reef the reef is on and popping if the only thing is I wish I had more flowers actually and maybe just a pop of like white or black. I think that would have set off the reef. I'm looking over there because that's what a reef is. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really, really do appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great day, night, whenever it is that you guys are watching this. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. This is what behind the scenes looks like. That cup of water right there was just in case those candles decide to get a little cray cray and try to burn the house down. <laughs>